What's up guys, this is Damien aka D Hoshman for Hosh Online and today we're going to take a look at the Serenity ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S3. As always, we're going to be using this ROM on the uh, Sprint edition of the Galaxy S3. And with the Serenity ROM, actually it's this version 1.2, um, what it does is it basically puts the software from the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 onto the Samsung Galaxy S3. Um, so what does that mean? Like oh, you get some of the uh, the apps, like uh, even the SPN apps, which uh, don't really do much. As you can see here, we're uh, running uh, Android 4.1.1. Uh, we're using the Agats kernel and Serenity 1.2. But yeah, you get apps like uh, SPN. You get uh, the the uh, S Memo um, because the S No Pen really, you know, there's no there's no need for that because uh, SPN is hardware based not software based um, but you do get the pop-up browser uh, you do get um, the awesome camera app you get the uh, gallery app you get the um, you know some some of those things like that um, I'm, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys um, to check it out and uh, kinda get some of the features um, that you would probably want from the Galaxy Note 2. The only thing that I could find couldn't find on this uh, ROM was the multi-window feature that is uh, really was just so exciting on, on, about the Galaxy Note 2. It it's supposed to be on there, but I haven't been able to enable it. So look for uh, future updates uh, on that. I'm sure that uh, the developer Drew Guerin will be able to. Uh, get that fixed up hopefully for us so that we can try that out now when searching through the forums there is um, kind of a uh, a problem with people being able to get this actually to work um, I didn't have a problem with getting this to work and you know I can I can't say exactly what everyone was doing and why they weren't able to get this ROM working but I, I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview of how I was able to get this ROM working and it really is a great ROM I mean it's not the best battery life but you know I, I, I did a video before on the uh, Galaxy S3 software on the Evo 4 GLT and um, you guys really like that video so I'm gonna do one similar which is what this video is the Galaxy Note 2 software on the Samsung Galaxy S3 they're really so similar but it's the very uh, small things that uh, the Galaxy Note 2 has that you know I know people with the Galaxy S3 um, like me you're a little bit envious of um, and I will be picking up the Galaxy Note 2 I don't want to get the Sprint Edition as I've been saying guys I've been having horrible horrible problems with Sprint so I'm trying to pick the AT&T version up and that won't be released to November 9th and I actually want to pick up the Nexus 4 the Nexus 10 and another Nexus 7 during the month of November so I, I probably won't have the Note 2 until December uh, and you know barring something spectacular happen happening um, but yeah so you know I, I've said many many times with Android you want to look for hardware because software with the wonderful developers we have on XDA and Roots Wiki and some of the other sites you you really can do a lot as far as software there's a if, if you like the moto user interface there's usually a hack to be able to get the moto user user interface onto a Samsung phone or HTC HTC phone and vice versa uh, you know so those type of things definitely you have to keep in mind hardware you can't change software you can definitely change now getting back to the ROM um, as you can see we're going through the uh, note 2 gallery which is actually I think this is the best gallery I love a uh, quick pick which is an app that you can download from the Google Play Store and it's better than the stock Android brow uh, a gallery I'm sorry but I actually feel like the note 2's gallery is a step above that um, the different options visually that you can switch to um, it, it's just a lot you know a lot more unique than um, you know the standard galleries that we sometimes get off of the app store and um, even the ones that are customly built I mean I'm sorry standard built into uh, Android um, this ROM is very very smooth um, the battery life while it's okay it's not awesome it's nothing really to brag about um, there's some uh, 
there's a few problems with the ROM. There's a few force closes every every now and then. I've been having an especially hard time with the email app. So if this ROM is something that you want to check out, is something that you're interested in, and you're wondering, how can I get this on my Samsung Galaxy S3? Okay, there's a, there's a very uh, different way that you're going to have to do this. Uh, if you're been, you've are been been hacking Android for a while, then you're going to know these things. But there's a few files that you're going to need to download, which of course will be in the description. You want to get those on your phone, one or two which ways. Like I, I just showed you, you can use your micro USB cable or like I like to do, I use uh, AirDroid uh, and just transfer those files onto your device. Uh, what I was, did first was I actually flashed these, the Jelly Bean Touch with Samsung uh, ROM that was released for Sprint a few... Um, I guess a few days ago, I flashed that first, and then um, I used the uh, LI7 kernel. Was it the LI7? Um, yeah, LJ7. I'm sorry, LJ kernel with boot animation support. I flashed that over um, the ROM, and uh, I fully installed that. Then I w you want to go into TeamWin Twerp. You know, this is what I use. I, I suppose you could probably use Clockwork Mod, um, but I'm a Twerp fan, so I use Twerp. And what you want to do is you want to wipe two things. You want to wipe uh, Cache, and you want to wipe Delvet Cache. I'm not going to do this because I got everything settled. Um, so once you wipe those things, um, I'm having a little problem with the, the lock. Uh, mechanism and twerp but once you flat wipe those two things that's all you want to wipe don't you don't want to do a factory reset like you know most ROMs require you to do you don't want to do that once you're on that uh, leaked LJ7 uh, jelly bean uh, touch whiz version just wipe the cache wipe the delvic so we're gonna scroll down now and we're gonna flash uh, First, we're gonna flash the Serenity, actually the Ser actual Serenity ROM 1.2 version. So you're gonna flash that, and then after you flash that, you want to flash the Agat kernel, uh, which will be, you know, a link to that download will be in the description. Also, after you flash those two, this is how I did it. Uh, you want to reboot your system. So we flashed. We're, we're making sure that we're on the leaked touch with I'm sorry touch with the leaked jelly bean uh, version of touch with that sprint leaked the most recent one which will be in the description for that download then you want to flash the LG7 kernel and you want to fully install that ROM that stock ROM then you want to go into recovery wipe cache wipe Delvic install serenity 1.2 and then Agat's kernel and then do a full reboot of your system So once you do the full reboot, you're going to go through this, the awesome boot animation for Serenity, uh, and you're going to be on the uh, stock version of the ROM. But if you want to flash the uh, theme that comes with Serenity ROM, um, that's what I have installed. What you're going to want to do is, after everything loads up, reboot back into recovery and flash the Serenity 1.2 quick fix. That's going to give you all these visuals uh, that you see here. And uh, that's also going to give you the uh, 10 in 1 uh, power uh, minute menu at the top where you can, you know, have access to your flashlight, uh, data, uh, you know, all those good things that, that come in the power uh, menus. And also, also a themed uh, notifications panel. So here you have it. Everything should be installed. Um, everything should be running fine. We should have data. I definitely always have data when um, I flash the ROM. You should have data also. So you want to check that out. Check out Wi-Fi. But also give it time to be able to mesh together. A lot of times with these ROMs, you need to give it time for everything to kind of mold <laughs> together. So uh, give it about five minutes there for everything to settle. But guys this is the serenity 1.2 rom and it enables a lot of the features of the galaxy note 2 on the samsung galaxy s3 um, you definitely should check it out to support your developer donate if you like the rom um, or if you feel like uh, it's worth the uh, do donating for uh, go ahead and do that uh, this has been damien with hosh online i will be back very soon guys because i got a lot a few accessories that i want to 
put up some videos. Uh, one, Actually, both are for the Galaxy S3. So I'll see you very shortly. This has been Damien with Hotch Online. I will see you guys next vid. Peace.